welcome back all of my painting friends. Today we are going to paint a fun pineapple. You're going to need your medium flat brush, medium and small round brush, a cup of water, a rag for wiping your brushes off, and there's a lot of colors. Are you ready for this? Red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, black, and white. Of course, you can edit these colors if you want to because we are painting a pineapple that is rainbow colored. You can go anywhere you want with it. Let's start by taking white and we are just gonna lay some white in the middle of our canvas, kind of messy. So it's kind of like a big oval-ish shape in the middle of our canvas. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, but not wash it off. And I'm gonna go in with pink paint and I am now gonna fill in um, everything about two inches and above with pink paint. We're not gonna mix in with our yellow just yet, but don't worry, that's happening. Now that we have our pink in there and our yellow, we are going to start to just kind of gently mix these two colors together right along the edge. We want it to be mixed, but we don't want it, we don't want to go straight orange, okay? Just kind of blend those two colors along the edges. And then you can start to very carefully, I'm gonna wipe my brush off, take some yellow and pull it out into your pink. and then pull some pink into your yellow. And then for fun, I'm gonna take my pink brush with a little bit of white paint on it. I'm gonna add just some areas of white mixed in with this outside edge pink. I'm gonna wash my brush off really good and I'm gonna paint the table below my background black. I want this top color to really, really, really stand up and show how bright it is. So I'm gonna paint this bottom part black. I'm gonna let my painting dry, and when we come back, we will add in a pineapple. Now that my background's dry, we are gonna lay out our pineapple and get to work on some of its details. So I'm gonna use my medium round brush with some white paint to just kind of lay out the shape of my pineapple. And what my pineapple's gonna do is it's gonna be an oval, but the top and bottom are gonna be flat. So I'm just gonna start right here with like an oval shape but I'm gonna make the top up here flat. And then as I come down, I'm also going to make the bottom flat. Now I'm going to paint this in white just to give it a little bit of a base coat so that my colors can kind of stand out on it. Now that I have this on there, I am going to take my brush with a little bit of green paint on it and I'm just gonna add some green up here in the top right corner. A little bit of light green. And 
then down at the bottom, I'm gonna add light blue. So I didn't even wash my brush off, I still have that green on it. Because I told you we are having ourselves kind of a wild colored pineapple. And so we wanna give ourselves a light base that can still go with our crazy idea. So I'm just gonna bring these colors together, kind of blend them. This is the base, so it's okay if it's kind of sloppy. I'm gonna wash that brush off and then add some yellow up here at the top of my green. Now, I'm gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add some more pineapple details. The next part of our pineapple, we are going to make the, um, the little diamonds for the shape of all of the little pricklies on the outside edge. So I am going to use my medium flat brush. And with that brush, I am going to really just kind of pull my paintbrush down at an angle all the way through here. So I'm gonna use some white paint. I'm gonna just kind of make these shapes with some white paint first. So with white paint on my brush, I'm gonna start right here at the top and I'm just gonna set my brush down and pull it down to the side. So this right here is gonna be my shape. So I'm gonna go down the bottom and pull it this way then. See that? And I'm gonna make these go in a diagonal down my pineapple, trying to keep them the same-ish shape, but not worried if they're not totally perfect. Now, right here, I'm gonna run out of space. What I'll do is I'll go in at the end with my smaller brush and I will finish up those little edges there. So now that I have this one done, I also have to make sure that they are diagonal going left to right. I know, right? So many diagonals to remember. So now that I've got these two lined out, I know that I can just kind of follow these going all the way right back up. And I'm gonna do this over my entire pineapple. Now that I have all of the bottom diamonds filled in, while those are drying, I'm going to lay out where my greenery on the top of my pineapple is gonna go. Um, this is really kind of how much you wanna put onto it. I am going to draw a line from the base of my pineapple up at a small curve, and that's gonna be kind of where I base all of my leaves off of. And the leaves for these are just kind of spiky and pointy. And so I'm just gonna go with that idea of kind of a spiky, pointy mass of leaves coming off of here. I do not want these to be symmetrical, so I'm not going to make them the exact same. And then while this is still wet, I am gonna go in and add some green paint, just as a nice base to this. We will go in and add some more color later. All right, let's let this whole thing dry. When we come back, we're gonna add some bright colors to our pineapple. So let's talk about all of our little pineapple diamonds. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually move from like dark to light. So down here, I'm gonna put like my blues, greens, reds, and I'm gonna move up towards my yellows, pinks, and oranges. 
So here's what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I am going to fill in these spaces with one solid color. And I'm gonna make the ones around them relatively close to the same color because I want like a gradual change in my color. So I'm gonna do some red, but I'm also gonna put a little bit of blue in here to darken it up. I do not want these to be single colors. I want them to be a little bit more interesting and kind of even sloppy maybe. Then I could put a little bit of white in here to just kind of change up the texture and the color just a little bit. So if you see what I did here, I just kind of mixed a couple of colors together, kind of played with what was gonna happen, and then I'm gonna make the colors right around this area the same. And then as I go up to the top of my pineapple, we are going to make the colors lighter. So for my blue ones right here, I have got my blue on there and then I'm gonna add some green in. So my goal is to cover up all the white space, but keep it kind of messy bissy a little bit. Really, I can throw in some yellow in there or some white in there. I'm gonna stick with white though. So these little white lines, I'm just kind of adding a little bit of white to show that there's some texture on all those shapes. And then I'm going to start moving into some of my brighter colors. So I am going to do some reds in here and I'm gonna add in some oranges, and I'm gonna put in here some um, blues with some yellows, and then I'm gonna move up to the oranges and the pinks and ending with my yellow. So same way I did all these, I'm gonna cover with one color, I'm gonna pick a second color, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of white. So let's see how this looks. We have all of our funky little diamonds done. Let's go ahead and put a little bit more attention up here at the top to our um, greenery. So I'm gonna start by adding green and blue in the center of this. And I'm just taking my medium round brush and I'm just gonna kind of dot some of that darker color in there and even a spot of black because I do want it to be darker, okay? So this is kind of the the center space of where all of my leaves are going to come out of. And then I'm gonna use this color and go along the bottom edge of these leaves. So I've got a really nice dark green color. It's a mix of green blue with just a spot of black. I'm just gonna run right along the bottom edge of these that color out just a little bit onto each leaf. All right, now it's time for some fun color. 
So I already have some green on there. I'm gonna go in with some regular green and yellow, and I want this to be streaky, so I don't want to blend too much. I wanna be able to see all the little lines that I put in there. So that means I'm gonna use a lot of paint. My paint's gonna be pretty thick going on here. I'm covering it in green and I'm adding in some yellow lines, pretty thick yellow lines. On all of these pieces of greenery. wash that brush off and I'm going to add a little bit of blue in here. Just a little bit. I'm just like I did my yellow lines. Just some blue lines as well. And then one more color. You ready for this? I'm going to throw a little bit of pink in there. Just, you know, for fun. Don't over mix it. If you start to over mix it, let it dry a little bit. Keep your brush wiped off. All right, let's zoom out and add some final touches to this fun little pineapple. So to finish out our party pineapple, I am going to take my baby brush with some watered down black paint. So I'm taking my baby brush, I'm adding some water to my black paint because I want it to be a very thin consistency as I do a ghost line around my pineapple. A ghost line is where sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't. a great way to um, cover up any oopses that you might have in your art as well. And then I'm also going to make a couple lines around some of my pineapple diamonds. And I'm not, it's not always going to be a letter B, it's not always going to be three sides. I'm just going to make sure that every single one of these has a black line on it. And some of them, it might just be one black line and that's okay. But that's gonna make the color really kind of stand out and make it interesting to check out. Now, I do wanna address the really, really, really dark base. And so to do that, I am going to use um, a little bit of pink and a little bit of orange on my paintbrush, on my big brush. I'm gonna wipe some of that color off because I wanna use a dry brush where I have very little paint on there, but I am just going to rub some of that brighter color right over the top of this to lighten it up just a little bit. Maybe it kind of looks like there's a, a reflection coming off of the wall. Just a little bit of color fix that super, super, super dark space. Last but not least, when your amazing pineapple is done, you need to make sure you sign it. If you don't sign it, nobody's ever gonna know who made it. And the only way you'll be able to show it to me is if you post it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose on Facebook. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can have all of our fun videos. And don't forget, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Thanks for joining me today, friends.
Bye.